It may have been the snowy weather, but six of the 15 members of the Senate Armed Services Committee didn't show up to hear Schlesinger's testimony. The hardline defense secretary told those present that one-sided military cuts by the United States would invite aggression. The Soviet Union is spending at record levels for defense, Schlesinger said, and the U.S. must keep up. There remains a consensus within the country that the United States should have military power second to none. If that continues to be the objective of the American public, which is reflected in every opinion poll, it implies that we must measure our strength against external capabilities represented by the other superpower, namely the Soviet Union, and not by the military capabilities of Chad, Nicaragua, or the like. Schlesinger said the 1976 budget must include funds for modest improvements on the U.S. missile system. And he said Air Force bombers must remain in the U.S. military arsenal because they complicate the Soviet Union's overall defense strategy. This is Bill Elbert on Capitol Hill.